Hello, Snow Goose customers. Just got a box of books. Let's see what's in the box. I think it's kids' books and kitchen, kitchen cooking books. That's what we were due to get. You never know, though, what's going to be in the box. Let's see if it belongs to us. And I can tell right off the bat it belongs to us. Okay, kids' books from A to Ames. How much do I love this? This is what I grew up on. Oh my God, they start right off with Noguchi lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm all about this. I think every could. Ooh, you should get this and then go to the gathering place and read this to your child. Ooh, here, that chair's, there's an Eileen Gray table. It's probably there at the gathering place. Take this and go read it to your kiddo at the gathering place. Ooh, love that. Okay. Here's a Christmas book. Oh, it's pretty for the kids. The tree that's meant to be. It's new. Cute gift for Christmas. New friendships are about to grow this Christmas. Cute. Cute gift. Ooh, I would have loved this. Oh, okay. This is the Explanatorium of Nature. This is a nature book for those nature lovers. How cool is that? Look at this front. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And what's in it? Don't know. Oh, what is camouflage and how does it work? Ooh, ooh, reptile eggs. <laughs> oh, look at this, deep sea fishes. Oh yeah, I would have eaten this right up. Love that. And another Snow Goose favorite, Walter the farting dog. And he comes with the farting dog. Oh yeah. This one is Rough Weather Ahead for Walter. <laughs> That's a good uh, Oklahoma Rough Weather Ahead. Cute gift. And what is this? Oh, in the French kitchen with kids. So this is really great techniques to teach your kids cooking. It's for parents and children and foodies. Oh, I can't imagine cooking a chicken. Oh, yeah. Cool. Anyway, that's great. That's great. Here we have adult cooking books, starting with winter drinks. We all need those. Winter drinks. Ooh, Thug Kitchen. If you haven't seen this book, it's hysterical. It says garbanzo beans and chickpeas are the same effing thing. Thank you. <laughs> fun. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, recipes for every college student. And it's got a ramen cover. My son needs this badly. Cooking 101 for the college student. And here's, you suck at cooking. Who do you give that to? <laughs> I could give that to my younger sister. Yes. Uh, ham and cheese in a mug. Oh my God, that's not right. Oh, that's just sick and wrong. Cauliflower soup, well, well, that couldn't be good no matter what. Actually, I like cauliflower soup. Well, this looks like fun. Well, there's dips and snacks out of your trunk. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And here on the back, they've got asparagus and a wrench. <laughs> this is funny. I like that one. You suck at cooking. And the mac and cheese cookbook. Think outside the mac and cheese box. How to do it? on your own. Ah. These are all good, aren't they? Aren't these good? Here's a Mad Libs for foodies. Giant, nice book of Mad Libs for foodies. Fun gift. And here we have apples. Ooh, I love apples. And here we have the perfect pie. I like the two of these together. The perfect apple pie. That's me, that's my favorite. I like it with a piece of cheddar cheese. Oh, 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 oh. Super fans, music, music's most dedicated fans. What the heck? Oh, what is Beatlemania? What's a Belieber? Oh, Justin Bieber, guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fanalos, Barry Manilow, <laughs> I love that. Parrot Heads, yeah, yeah, Jimmy Buffett. This is fun, this is all the super fan names like Elvis Nuts and uh, the victims for the killers and uh, Lady Gaga's Little Monsters. Ooh, 
fun gift. And here we have the stoner coloring book. What the heck could that be? How do you even? That seems like an oxymoron. But no, I get it now if this is what you're coloring. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. Coloring for when you're high. Can you imagine? <laughs> Look at some of these. Oh, please. Oh, please. Can you imagine coloring that? Oh, my God. Hmm. Well, that's funny. Coloring for high-minded adults. That's a good one. And last but not least, let's see. Last but not least, yes, lost words. This is what I really need, lost words. Collie wobbles, snuggle ghosters, surprisingly useful terms worth resurrecting. So this is all books, books, uh, words that have gone by, the, smatch it. All ill-mannered. You're a smatch it. Despicable person, you smatch it. And what is this? A pamphagonos. A pamphagos. Eats everything. Well, that would be me. I'm a pamphagos. Mumps and mum. I can't even read this. Mump. Simus, a stubborn person who refuses to change their mind despite being proven wrong. A mumpsimus. You mumpsimus. Remember that book, The Wuggly Ump? Humbuggery, nonsense, or deceitful language or ideas. Humbuggery. Humbuggery. Well, we've got a humbuggery book for you, and it's got interesting, fun words that you can't pronounce in it. That's all the books that are in the box. Come buy one. Later, gators.